None of this, a large and beautiful place in the Canadian tundra, is completely away from the hustle and bustle of modern life. Nunavut, home to more than 28,000 Eskimos, gives tourists the opportunity to see their distinctive way of life, which is deeply rooted in culture and closely connected with the harsh natural environment. Sarah Johnson was so ecstatic when the plane landed at the entrance to the pond that she could hardly restrain herself. Belugas had always piqued her interest, and now she was one of six wildlife experts sent to observe these amazing animals in the wild. Landing a short distance from the rocky shore, the group soon set up camp. Nevertheless, there was a stunning view of the aquamarine waters from here. She asked the leadership of the local Eskimos about any risks that could affect their studies. The guy told her about a patch of ice and water near their camp, where, as is known, polar bears ate the corpses of seals. Unfortunately, it was a terrible assumption. The guide overlooked the fact that over time, some of the ice melted, which forced the local polar bears to spend more time on land in search of food. But Sarah had her 10 millimeter Glock and a can of bear spray to calm her down. The sun was in the sky when Sarah and the others were preparing to catch a beluga whale. They worked quickly, accurately, accurately, and carefully, placing the net at a short distance from their tent. They decided to take turns working three to four hours every day to monitor the internet for signs of activity. When Sarah started her working day, she was left alone to watch the internet while the other researchers returned to their tent for a moment. Sarah was focused and kept a close eye on the internet in search of any activity. She was so engrossed in her work that she almost didn't notice a white figure appeared in the distance, awkwardly approaching her. The figure moved closer. Although Sarah knew it was a polar bear, it seemed strangely slender. He had shaggy hair and ribs were visible under the skin. The polar bear rushed at Sarah, causing her heart to beat wildly. She jumped up and waved her arms in the air, making as much noise as possible to scare the beast away because she realized that she had to act quickly. The polar bear approached but did not retreat. The gap narrowed until Sarah was only 40 feet away from her. Now it was clear that the polar bear was dying of hunger and was in a serious condition. Sarah immediately pulled out her Glock as soon as her instincts took over. The bullet she fired pierced through the bear's shoulder. But this only inflamed the fury of the polar bear. The bear suddenly came closer and jumped on her, throwing his huge carcass into the air. The bear hit Sarah with such fury that she collapsed to the ground. The bear's claws dug into Sarah's shoulders, causing her to feel excruciating agony. Darkness engulfed Sarah's world. The researchers were alerted by Sarah's shot, which made them rush in her direction. When they got to the scene, a terrifying sight awaited them. Their colleague was brutally torn apart by a huge bear that towered over him. The research team was completely shocked by the terrifying sight. Brandishing a firearm, he leveled his arm and shot the bear several times. The beast backed away before finally collapsing to the ground dead. Because of the severe injuries on her body, Sarah was difficult to recognize. The fact that she was still alive was a miracle. Scientists immediately got to work. Transcriptions were stitched. In the end, Sarah survived this terrible experience, but not without mental and physical scars. In any case, she was grateful to her colleagues for their help. She would have been eaten alive by a voracious polar bear if they'd arrived a little later. The date was August 20, 2012. Eager to go on the Svalbard, Victoria Cruz, Lila Rodriguez, and Ethan Cruz did it with great enthusiasm. The couple spent months organizing this trip as they were passionate explorers and environmental enthusiasts. Before their wedding in December of the same year, they went on this luxurious vacation. The great Arctic loomed before them. The couple were ecstatic as they excitedly scanned the cold sea for any signs of life in the hope of seeing polar bears, sea 
seals and whales that were known to inhabit the area. The cruise approached the coastline of Kilavroya, giving visitors a front row ticket to one of the most exciting places on the planet, and they were speechless. The unspoiled beauty of the surroundings stunned Layla and Ethan as they stepped off the boat onto the cold coastline. An opportunity to enjoy the unique beauty and biodiversity of the Arctic. However, as the visitors soon realized, it was not an ordinary zoo. The local wildlife was uncontrolled, and it was allowed to roam freely on the frozen tundra. Some tourists started getting too close to the animals to take the perfect picture. In the distance, Lila and Ethan saw a flock of seals resting on the cold coastline. Lila and Ethan moved cautiously towards the seals with a sense of youthful awe. They were delighted with the beauty of the animals as they came closer and closer and closer. The two started photographing the seals while each had ADSAR camera in their hands. As they worked to get the best picture of the seals, Lila and Ethan's fingers clicked on their camera screens. They were so focused on their work that they didn't pay attention to the noise behind them. Leela and Ethan didn't notice that something was wrong until other visitors and tour operators started shouting and alarm sounded in their voices. Lila and Ethan were puzzled and looking for the cause of the mess, scanning the horizon. But it wasn't until they turned back that they saw a polar bear hiding, its huge body hidden by snow and ice. Just a few meters away from them, the sight of a huge polar bear was enough to make Lila and Ethan freeze. The bizarre, horrific scenario that was unfolding in front of them was difficult for their brains to comprehend. With shouts and loud noise, tourists and guides desperately tried to scare the bear away, but the animal was adamant. By the time Ethan tried to scare the bear away by chasing him, the animal had already jumped on Lila and knocked her hard to the ground. Lila was facing the bear, but the beast grabbed her by the head and mercilessly bit through the skull. The unfolding, terrifying scene stunned the visitors. The guy then fired six more shots into the bear's shoulder, eventually wounding the huge animal so much that it fell. The wounded bear eventually fell to the ground and died. It then hurried to help Lila. Although she was badly maimed, she was still alive. The guides immediately asked for help. Soon after, a helicopter appeared. Leela was taken by helicopter to a nearby hospital where she needed immediate surgery. The bear almost grazed her vertebrae with its bite in the back of her neck, inflicting the most serious of her wounds. Fortunately, she has fully recovered from her injury.